This is an amazing trick you can perform and impress your friends. It's almost magical and counterintuitive. And you can also learn the principles of flotation, sinking, buoyancy. To do this, all you need is a pan balance, a spring balance, a half mug full of water and a piece of stone. First take this mug of water, fill it halfway through and put it on the pan balance. Notice the reading on the balance. This is how much is the weight of your water. Now you can ask your friends a question. What if I were to put my fingers inside this water and not touch the mug? Will the reading here change? Will it become more or less? Most of your friends might say, well, since you are not touching the mug, it will remain at 400 grams. And this is where the magic happens. Now let's try put our thing to put our so now let's try to put our fingers inside the water. Magically, the weight of the water has increased. When I take it out, the weight of the water decreases. Now let's try the same experiment by putting our fist inside the water. We know that fist has more volume than just my fingers. And of course, you see the weight of the water increases more. So this must have something to do with the volume of thing that I put inside the water. To understand this phenomenon, let's take help of a spring balance. Take a spring balance and hang a stone. Notice the reading on the spring balance. This is the weight of the stone approximately 64 grams. Weight of the water is still 400 grams. Now let's put this stone inside water. The water weighs about 400 grams. Let's see what happens to the weight of the water and the weight of the stone when we put the stone inside the water so that it is not touching any part of the mug. You will see that the stone has lost weight. Just like when you go in a swimming pool, you feel lighter. Stone inside the water is feeling lighter and it is lighter by a, about, you can see about 26 grams. Because the stone is now 38 grams, 64 minus 38, about 26 grams less. And let's see what happened to the water. Interestingly, if you see, the weight of the water has increased by the same amount. Now let's repeat this experiment where we replace kerosene by water. Kerosene is lighter and you will see that the amount of weight the stone loses is less as compared to when it was dipped in water. This is because the amount of loss is equal to the weight of liquid displaced. Since kerosene is lighter, the weight of kerosene displaced is less than the weight of water displaced. And it also explains why when we dipped the fist, the weight of water displaced was larger compared to when we dipped our fingers and hence when we dipped the fist, the weight of water increases much more than we dipped than when we dipped our fingers. This explains the concept of buoyancy and flotation and sinking. And you can perform this magic trick.